Hi there guys, my name is David. You are watching Vival Automotive and welcome to day three here in Monaco. Today we're starting here on the Casino Square because right there behind me is a very special Lamborghini from the 1980s. And of course, the special Lamborghini from the 1980s is none other than the Lamborghini Countach. This car over here, the 25-year anniversary and finished in red. And what a great time seeing this car because Lamborghini just recently announced that they're going to be remaking this car, a modern version, which will go for around $2.2 million, uh, kind of mimicking the lines of this epic 1980s uh, Lambo. Guys, I have finally seen this car, the Bugatti Chiron here in Monaco. This one over here finished in Bugatti blue with matching blue wheels. Just a few days ago, I shot another Chiron uh, here in the harbor of Monaco. That one was finished in blue carbon fiber. Guys, and here we have yet another Bugatti Chiron. I mean, at this point, I'm just counting Bugatti Chirons here because the sound of this incredible W16 can be heard just going through the streets back and forth. Ah, what a car. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the first Porsche 918 Spider of the trip. And yeah, I think I've seen this car last year, but I'm glad to see it nonetheless. Okay guys, so I left the Fairmont Herpin and instead came to the Casino Square and the cars that I have seen driving around are now parked up over here in front of the casino. And first one of these cars is this Porsche 918, finished in a fairly basic non visac spec, however it is super cool to see nonetheless. I think that this one is number 169 out of 
uh, the 918 units that were ever produced. Of course, the exhausts are here in the back. Super cool detail on the Porsche 918. You can see the name of the car here in the back. 918 Spider finished in the sort of asset green matching with the brake calipers and the sort of interior details as well. The interior of this car is completely different to any other Porsches out there. You can see the sort of central screen, which I think looks super futuristic and super cool even now, more than eight years after the 918 uh, was first introduced. So this is the first uh, car here at the Casino Square that I've seen earlier at the Fairmont Herpin. And the second one is this Bugatti Chiron, the second Bugatti Chiron that I've seen today. And I've seen this car previously. I've seen this car last year. It is finished in the sort of Panda spec with this white um, and black uh, in the back and this full white on white interior. Let me go and show you that because this is absolutely stunning. I feel like all of the interiors of the Bugatti Chirons are looking beautiful. The only thing that I'm wondering about is how does this not get dirty after a while because it does look quite clean although I can see some stains over there maybe. The Lamborghini Countach is still here, no changes there, and then there are these two uh, 488 pistas which I've seen here yesterday and the day before, just parked side by side next to this Ferrari 812. Guys, to be completely honest, I was a bit too lazy to go into the numerous garages here in Monaco. But I decided to go to at least one specific one, which is right here beneath the casino square. And there are these two special cars. The first car is this G600 Londale over here. This was the last version of the previous version of the G-Wagon. And it is this absolutely ludicrous extended version of the standard G with this uh, roof that you can take off. So sort of the safari version version of the G-Wagon and this car didn't come cheap it came uh, costing 1.2 million dollars and then over there in the distance you can see that there is a Bugatti Veyron just casually parked here in a public garage in Monaco beneath the casino square this car over here is finished in blue with these chrome details the interior on this car is finished in dark brown which I would usually really appreciate but I'm not really sure how well it goes in combination with the chrome and with the blue Guys, Cipriani once again didn't disappoint and even though it is only a Tuesday, there is a super cool lineup right behind me. First of all, we have got this OG Land Rover Defender over here, finished in this sort of light green, absolutely stunning with these white wheels. Then in front of it, we have got a Ferrari Testarossa finished in black with a stunning red interior. I mean, just look at how striking this red leather is. But that is not everything. There's a 480 Pista driving past right now. And then in front of it, we have got this absolute absolutely stunning Ferrari F12 TDF and I've already seen like three or four TDFs in the past I mean in the past few days here in Monaco but this one over here is just something else because first of all it is from Estonia which I mean if the driver drove all the way uh, from Estonia to Monaco that is an impressive feat although I think that he probably just put it on a truck and then uh, came to Monaco via plane or whatever uh, second of all it has got the super cool um, plate TDF over here but it has got this contrasting and when I say contrasting I mean like really contrasting stripe uh, which is finished in this uh, white and red going all the way uh, over the car to the front over here and I mean look at the car from the front just beautiful here all right guys so this is everything for my fourth day here in Monaco I'm finishing off here at the casino square if you've enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel for more automotive content and as always hopefully see you next time <laughs>